Hey guys, welcome back. We got a good episode coming up with a new piece of technology that I think is going to make sawing just that much more enjoyable and definitely more efficient. If after watching this video you like it, give it the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. Beautiful morning out here. The sun is just breaking through the trees. I'm out of the sawmill. And I'm pretty excited today to show you guys something that I haven't really told you about before and I've sort of kept under wraps. What this is is something that's really going to help with setting up your first cut, maybe even your second, third, and fourth cut with a sawmill like my woodland mills behind me. Now, before we get in there, just a little update for you guys. My eye is healing. Um, I'd say it's probably back to about 100%, at least in my mind I think it's 100%. I feel better and that's the main thing. So. We had a little bit of a delay in getting the siding on the equipment shed. Part of that was due to that injury because I didn't feel like doing too much for a while. So I appreciate all the patience from you guys. So we will get back to that equipment shed build real soon. I do have a pile of lumber here. This is all going on as siding on that equipment shed. So we're going to get that put up real soon. I just have to finish cutting some lumber. But before we get there, as I mentioned, I got this exciting bit I want to show you today. And so let's head on over here. I'm out here pretty early this morning. It's supposed to be another one of those hot muggy days. And before you guys go on again about saying, why is this guy wearing long sleeve pants and shirts? The bugs have not gone away. That's the only reason I wear them. I don't wear them for any other reason. If you guys are working on stuff and you got mosquitoes and black flies biting the back of your legs, well, having some pants on is just that little bit of, uh, little bit of relief. Anyways, what we're dealing with today is something that you guys have seen me do many, many times out here. Uh, what it is it's making a first cut on the log now I just went ahead and made a first cut here and you guys can see here it's got a bit of that chatter to it and some of you guys know exactly what this is from some may not you guys see all these little vertical lines or horizontal lines here probably what the case is these blades are not brand new I have set them before and well in this case probably need to set them again because one of the teeth is slightly bent out of set or out of place and it's creating this chatter effect for me, we're just creating some rough siding, not a big deal. This right here you could fix by putting on a different blade with the teeth fixed up, or you could keep cutting as I am and maybe plane this if you really wanted to, to make it perfectly smooth. I'm gonna keep the blade on, but I'm not gonna plane it. I think it looks kind of neat. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. This is the first cut here. And in order to get this first cut, you guys would have seen me take something like this old worn out tape measure many, many times. and sort of crouch down and look like this and try to figure out where that first cut should be. Oftentimes I can estimate pretty close, but the truth be told, more times than not, I make a first cut, I don't take off enough, and I end up having to make a second cut to get it to something like this. That's because I'm just sort of eyeballing it like this. You guys have also mentioned before, go to the small end of the log, like down here, and you can put your tape on it and you can make a pretty good guess that way as well. Now, all these things are good and dandy, but I'm going to do something today, show you something today that's going to eliminate having to use this tape at all. What that is? Well, it's a laser. It's a little laser that's going to go on to the sawmill, and I'm not talking about the ones you might use on a construction job site to figure out where the electrical outlets go or framing members or anything like that. I'm talking about a real laser that is designed for an application like this. This laser is going to mount in line with the blade and it's basically going to create a horizontal line here which is going to show me when I turn it on of course where the first cut's going to be. I can then move that sawmill up and down. I can figure out exactly where I want it to position itself on that on that log and then I can make the cut with accuracy. That's going to save me a bunch of time. It's going to save me a bunch of crouching over and I think it's going to be pretty cool. Let's go have a look at it. All right over here on my bench. Believe it or not, it's came in this little little bag here. Not much to it. I've seen on the internet, you guys have probably seen before, people go to Home Depot, they go to Lowe's, wherever, and they buy the uh, they buy the level, the laser level from uh, from those stores, and they they uh, sort of Mickey Mouse it onto the sawmill, and probably works. Sometimes it probably doesn't, but it doesn't look the greatest because it's kind of big and cumbersome. That's not the case with this. This is actually built for this application, as I mentioned, and it's from a company called Apinex or Apinex, A-P-I-N-E-X.com. Uh, this company, that's what they do. They make these lasers. And before I go any further, let me show you exactly what, uh, what I picked up here. So 
First and foremost, there are three pieces to this puzzle. The first piece is this, it's a laser mounting bracket. I'm gonna call it the laser module. The laser module goes in that hole in the center. This obviously mounts to the sawmill. Lots of adjustability here. All right, so you guys can see it here. Lots of adjustability, and you'll see me put that into action here today. And the other component of this is the power source. All right, I'm gonna set you guys down just for a second here. You guys hang out there for a minute. Here's the power source. All right, there it is. It's basically a spot you can put batteries. Let's get this opened here. It's basically a spot you guys can put batteries with a switch and two alligator clips. That gets powered with two AAA batteries. We'll set that off to the side end. The first one we looked at was the actual mounting bracket for the laser module. I'll set that off to the side. Let's have a look at the final piece of the puzzle here. Diving inside, this might be the most important piece you're interested in. This is the actual laser module. This is a green line laser module. This broadcasts a green horizontal laser line onto the log, which is what I'm looking for, because that'll tell me exactly where the blade is going to follow. That's going to save me from having to use something like this tape measure here and trying to guesstimate where the first cut's going to be. It's going to save me time and it's going to save me effort, and that's what I'm looking for. Before we go any further and actually look at this laser, just take this note. This is actually used in commercial sawmills. It's also used in scientific, industrial, and all kinds of medical applications. So this is a real deal here. This is not one of those construction lasers you go down to Home Depot, you buy, and you cobble onto the side of your sawmill and hope it works. This is a real deal. This has been proven, and that's why I'm using it. I'm not showing you guys something that I wouldn't want to use, and maybe I'd only use once and it's junk after that. This is something you're going to see me cutting with time and time again. At least that's my hope. Pretty confident it will be. What we're dealing with here is a power output of 20 milliwatts. This particular green line laser comes in a variety of power outputs. 1, 5, 10, 20, and 50 milliwatt power outputs. This gets powered from this power supply and nothing more than two AAA batteries. Okay, let's look at it, okay? Let's stop talking. All right, diving into the package here. Let's see what we got. Okay, first and foremost, it is not that big, which is great. It's fairly light. However, on the outside, it is a metal casing, which is nice to see. And off the back here, you guys can see your red and your black wires. And they've already, they've already stripped the wire for me, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do with this next, I'll just show you how it's going to hook up when we put it onto the sawmill. All we're going to do is take the alligator clips and we're going to do nothing more than hook it up to the wire. And obviously nothing's going to happen until we get batteries in here. We're going to get a basic setup like this. This will get mounted, the laser module, inside the bracket. We'll put batteries in here, hit the switch, and then the laser will come on. That's what we're up against. That's what I'm going to install on my sawmill. I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a game changer. I'm really excited to get this going. If you guys want to see these specific pieces in person, up close, maybe you want them, I'll put the links to this in the description so you can get this for yourself. Let's see how it works. Here we go. All right, so I was scratching my brain as to where we were going to mount this laser. Now, obviously, the laser needs to be in line with the blade, but it can't be real close to the blade because that's where the log's going to pass, and we don't want the laser to get bumped by the log. So after a bunch of brain scratching here, I had sort of two ideas, and you guys can tell me down below whether you think one idea is better than the other. We are going to go with one of the ideas, but it may not be permanent if it doesn't end up being the best solution. Here's the ideas. I was going to mount it potentially here, all right, and you guys can see we can get it nice and low, right in line with the blade. The only trouble with mounting it here, this door has to open, obviously, in order to deal with the blade from time to time. So this will be something that, that moves. Uh, is it going to move it out of alignment much? I don't know. The second option is over here. And if we duck around here, the second option was going to be something like this. With the mounting bracket position sort of just below that hinge on the sawmill, I think that would allow the laser module to articulate and look right around the side of the sawmill and broadcast that green line right across the log. So I think this is going to be our first choice for now. As I mentioned, if this doesn't turn out to be the best solution, 
I will move it maybe to this other location. But for now, I think this is gonna be the best idea. What you're gonna see me do next is I am going to drill some holes in order to bolt the mounting bracket to the actual side of the sawmill. Once it's mounted, then we'll put the actual laser module in here. There's a set screw, as you can see on the side to hold the laser module. We'll tighten up these, uh, these bolts on the top of the mounting bracket and then we'll align it. All right, so that's what we're doing. Here we go. All right, first things first, I'm gonna take off this door panel here. And I think that'll make it a lot easier for me to do my next step, which you guys will see in a moment. As you can see, we've been doing some sawing lately. And the tension is off the blade. It's snug, but it's not under tension. Okay, I'm gonna take these pins out. I made a cut on the log and that cut will represent a reference point that I can set my laser to when I'm mounting it. What that will allow me to do is to guarantee that where the laser is pointing on the log is where the sawmill is adjusted to. So that's going to be sort of my safeguard in addition to the measurement to get me into the ballpark. All right, so I'm going to put the laser module into the actual bracket here. And one thing you're going to notice, the machining on this metal laser module and the machining on this actual bracket is really well done it's nice and tight so you're not going to get any wobbling uh, some other things you got to notice before you put this laser module in if you guys look at the end of it you'll notice it almost looks like a looks like a slot a horizontal slot i originally thought that horizontal slot meant that's the way the line's going to be positioned but no you actually have to have it vertical up and down that slot in the end for the line to go horizontal so when you're putting this in here it might save you just a few minutes we're going to put this in backwards like so, fish the wire through. And let me just watch this to make sure that the line is positioned the way I need it. So there it is, that line is now straight up and down. If you can imagine, that'll mount on the side. Try to get it as close as we can. You can always reposition it, obviously. And you guys notice, see that, see that firm push I had to give there? Well, that's good, because that means you're not gonna get any motion in there. Now, to make it even more secure, once you get it mounted and you set up the laser where it needs to be, there's that set screw on the side. I'll tighten that down eventually, but I'm just going to leave it loose for right now. So there we go. It's in the mounting bracket. Let's look up the power supply and let's try it. And we'll use it and position it, point it at the log to help us with our mounting position. So all I did there, I just hooked up the alligator clips and... Obviously, you got to make sure you clamp onto the wire. There we go. All right, and there we go. I just turned it on, and if we position it back this way, there's our green horizontal laser. Okay, and this is what's going to position itself uh, on the side of the sawmill and point at the log. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to hold it with my hand at this point. I'll turn you guys around so you can see what it's pointing at. And I'll just hold it right about where it's going to be. It's going to be, uh, you know, give or take, give or take somewhere in there. But you guys can see the nice line that it's broadcasting. I'm holding this by hand. That's why it's shaking right now. But that's going to give me a nice clear line as to where I'm going to cut. And if I need it to, let's say, be different in position on the log, let's say I need it to, um, I need it to show up more on this end. I can always move the sawmill back just a little bit and you guys can see it's nice and clear for where the blade's going to enter the log. So from a, from a first perspective, this laser is very, very bright and I think it's going to work very, very well. Let's stop talking though. Let's get it mounted and let's try it. All right. I put the door back on just to see where the door was going to interfere with the laser module. And you guys can see on the log where the laser is where the laser is hitting the log. I'm just trying to hold it steady and get it into position. And that looks pretty good right about there.
Just as I was about to mount this up, I decided to play around a little bit with the block just to see if moving the laser out a little bit would give a better horizontal line on the log. Turns out it does. So what I've done is I've taken this three quarter inch block and I've placed it in behind the bracket. And we're just about to secure everything to the side of the sawmill housing. Now this three quarter inch block, it could be made out of something a bit better, more durable. But as I mentioned to you guys before, I don't know whether this will be the permanent position yet because I've never tried it. So I made it out of wood. It's just a simple piece of pine, three quarters of an inch thick. And as you can see, we got holes going all the way through it. Based on the bolts I had, I had to enlarge some of the bolts, uh, excuse me, some of the holes that were here already. And now I'm just gonna put the holes into the actual sawmill housing in order to accept the bracket and the block, just like that. Okay, first hole. Okay, there's that. Let's put our hardware on. Lock washer. Tight is tight, right? It's not many a bolt doing that and over tightening things. All right, let's put the power source on or power supply. And let's double check how it's positioned. All right, I'm just gonna sit it up there for now. And there is adjustments uh, on the top here that we can make. I just wanna see if we're in the ballpark. I think we're in good position here. You guys probably can't quite see at your end, but if I look across the top of the log, just the little fibers that are sticking up from where I cut, they're, they're showing where the laser is hitting them. And it looks like it's uniform all the way across. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure these are snug on the very top. There's just little adjustment hex bolts you can tighten up there. I also, because I think I'm in good shape here, maybe I'll lower it down just a little bit and we'll see if it's parallel. The laser when it drops down parallel with the top of the lock. All right, so I dropped it down a quarter inch there. And you guys can see that looks like it's pretty even, pretty well parallel with the top of the cut. So I think that's pretty good. So I'm now going to take another Allen key and I'm just going to tighten up on the far side of this right there. What that is, it's a set screw. And the set screw will hold the laser exactly where it needs to be. Okay. And as you can see, that is that. 
and probably from time to time I'll make just a few adjustments once I you know see how it's going to operate but for the most part I think that's set all right one of the last things I'm going to do is secure this power supply and it's nothing more as I mentioned before than two AAA batteries I'm just going to use one of these zip ties that you can remove I don't know for certain how I'm going to mount this yet but for right now I just want to try this out and so I'm just going to zip tie it into position and it sits nicely on top of that block there and then when I'm ready to remove this maybe I got to put more batteries in it I can just release that zip tie again I can also use the on off switch there for the laser remember I'm only going to have the laser on briefly when I start cutting just to judge where the cut's going to be turn it on turn it off and away it go last thing we can do here is try it so let's do it Check that out, that's pretty slick. You guys see here the laser, there it is. You guys can see. That's pretty slick, if you guys look, that's showing me exactly where that cut's gonna be and I don't have to come over here with my tape measure. I more or less now, I'm gonna make the cut. Can't go wrong with that. Well guys, I can tell you one thing, that is a beautiful thing. So that's my very first cut with that laser turned on and although I left it on for the entire cut, likely what's gonna happen in the future is I'm gonna start up the sawmill, I'm gonna turn on the laser, see where it's gonna cut, then I'll turn off the laser to conserve batteries. But I just double checked, that laser was pointed exactly where it cut. So we're in the ballpark, we're in good shape. Now one thing this is gonna really help me with is boosting my efficiency. We all love being out here sawing wood, but if I can saw more wood in less time, all the better. Normally I come out here with a tape measure, you guys see me holding it up, trying to guesstimate where the first cut should be. No longer will I have that tape measure needed, I will use that laser. So, if you guys want to see what it looks like after the first cut, there's the laser module, power supply, etc. We got a little bit of dust here, this dust came from probably the seam where the sawmill door matches up with the back part of the sawmill. I might just put something there to deflect that sawdust, but this is built to take it. I know it'll take it based on my first impressions, so I'm not too concerned. Guys, if you have any questions at all about that laser module, make sure you put it down below. I'll make sure to put the description with the links to those three things, the power supply, the laser module, and the bracket. If you want the details in the meantime, there you go, apinex.com. And as I mentioned, it'll be down in the description. 
you guys enjoy yourselves out there if you're out sawing today even if you're not if you're just dreaming of it hopefully that time comes soon for everyone out there see you next time and guys if you want to see more sawing right now make sure you go to the playlist sawmill setup see you next time